Hello makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I am 43 years old and I live in Derbyshire here in England and I've recently developed a love and a bit of a passion for makeup and I just want to share my makeup journey uh, with somebody uh, so what's better than doing it on YouTube. I also want to try and better myself and hopefully learn some new tips and tricks from you guys and um, also if I can help you guys out in any way I I'm here for you as well okay so I'm relatively new to YouTube this is only my third video no I apologize my fourth video uh, so I'm very very new to this so I do apologize for anything that looks <laughs> wrong uh, it's because I'm new and I'm just learning and I just want to have a bit of fun as well Okay, so uh, you, if you've seen my previous videos, have I have been reviewing the Girl Meets Brush brush can't say it Girl Meets Brush palette range, and in that range, there's four different palettes. I've already covered the Cool Tone palette and the Pink Tone palette. They are absolutely gorgeous. Check out my previous videos if you want to see a review and some swatches for those. And today, uh, I'm actually wearing what I'm going to be reviewing. There you go. I always go quite high up to my eyebrows with wearing glasses. It's just something I do because otherwise you just can't see anything on my eyes if I just stick to the lid. So I always go a bit more dramatic and go high up um, if I'm going anywhere fancy or anything like that. Or I'm on YouTube. There we go, that's it. Okay, so today I'm, it's going to be um, the Smoky Glam palette that I'm going to review. Uh, again, absolutely beautiful packaging, just like the others. There we go. And it comes in the slip case, which is much, obviously, the same. And a list of ingredients on the back. I'll pop that into view, so if you want to have a look, you can do. There we go. So they are cruelty free and they are also vegan. I've checked and they are vegan. So that's also good to know. Uh, right. So I'll just get straight into the review. So like I say, this is the Smoky Glam palette uh, from Girl Meets Brush. This is the one that I was originally just going to buy on its own. And then I fell in love with the other ranges. Um, this one has a lot of elements of the cool tone palette in it and the neutral palette that I haven't reviewed yet that will be next week so if you can't really afford a lot of palettes and you quite fancy those two uh, but can't afford to go for the smoky glam because it's got elements of both of them in it and um, that's that's what I'd recommend if you're not lucky enough to be able to afford all of the range go for the smoky glam and that's two in one if you get me, but it's also got some of its own um, colours that you can only get in this palette. Okay, so I will show you what they are. So it's got a mirror, so I'll just open it up here. There we go. I'll get that into focus for you guys. So I'll give you a look if you can see it. That's it. That's better. I can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> As you can see, beautiful beautiful palettes. You have three glitters, that one there, uh, that one there, and that one there. And you've also got three shimmer glitters. These are more like the press glitters. And we've got, that's one, that's one, and there we go, that's one as well. And two mattes there on the bottom row. Don't know if it's picking it up or not, but this is quite a really dark navy blue. As I'm looking into my camera, it's, it's coming up black, but this one is a navy blue. Um, this one here is the other matte, and that is a dark chocolatey brown. Okay, and the others that I haven't mentioned, they're all shimmers. There you go. So you've got a good pick and mix of all beautiful, beautiful shades there. So if you understand that, I was meaning that um there's a lot of elements of the cool tone palette and the neutral palette obviously recognize some of these from the cool tone and then these are the neutrals they're not exactly the same colors but they're nearly there just it's just really if you can't afford those two palettes get this one and you've got elements of them both 
Okay, so like before, um, it comes with this handy guide and it tells you all of the range. And there you go, and you've got your website that you can go on to as well. So I'm going to do the description of each one of them. So I'll start from the top row. So the first one is called Bronze Shining Superstar. What a cool name. And then the next one, Gold Glitter, straight to the point, I like it. And that one there is Coco Sheen. Then Mocha Shimmer. That's my dog howling, by the way. He's not a husky, he's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. <laughs> and the last one on that row is Glitz Glam Glitter. So you've got a gold glitter and then a silver glitter. Okay, so that's the top row done. The middle row, uh, this one is berry glitter. That's like a, a lovely pinky, like a rose gold glitter. And next to that is rose nude. And then plumbed shimmer glitter. That's the really fine pressed glitter that I mentioned. And after that one is blushing. Uh, that's another shimmering glitter as well as... This one here and the one next to it is called Midnight Glitter. That's um, a really dark, dark black with little tiny bits of um, silver in it. So that's really, really nice. Um, on the bottom row now is Mermaid Divine. I love that name. And after that one is Turquoise Dream Glitter. And then this is the, the first nap, mat. I apologise. Uh, Cafe Noir. And then we've got Marine Shimmer. And the last mat is Deep Blue. That is that navy, navy blue. I'm hoping it's showing up okay. Um, but it is. It's a really, really dark navy blue. And it shows up better on the skin than what is probably showing up on the camera here. Okay, so that's the range. So I'm going to do like what I've been doing in the past. I'm going to prime my arm and I've got the same primer that I've been using for all of them just so it makes it fair really and it's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance I've been using that again I know some people won't do um, any priming to the skin beforehand um, but my, my thing, way of thinking is like, well, I always prime my eyes, so I want to see what it's going to look like when it's been primed. And also it's something that Swatch UK also recommend that you do is to prime your skin beforehand. So I'm just following their instructions. Uh, it's just that I like to be open and honest what I'm using. Okay, so I'm just going to prime my arm. There we go. So I'll just put that all over my arm because I'm not certain whereabouts the sticker's going to go yet until I do it. Let's move that to one side and I'll just wipe my hand. There we go. Okay, right, so for this one, uh, just in case I didn't mention before, it is a 15 pan palette. So I've got this beautiful love heart. So I was going to save it for Valentine's Day. But I thought, nah, i use it now. It's beautiful. There we go. So this is a, another Swatch UK Swatch sticker. Try and get into it. There we go. Just being careful. Step to one side so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to move to the side. That's it. I'll just move my camera just a bit so you can see. Right, so same as before, I'm going to do two brush strokes with two lots of, um, of the product so you can see what it's like. Okay, so I'll start at the top and I'll read out the colours. I'm going in the same order as before and I'll go that way across. Okay, so the first one is Bronze Shining. 
So there we go. Oh, that's pretty. I stayed away from the neutrals um, just because I'm going to do the neutral palette next week and I didn't want it to look too much the same, if, if you're with me. So this is the second coat. That's beautiful, that. There we go, just wipe my brush. And the next one is a Superstar Gold Glitter. So I'm going to use my finger for that one. So it matches my nails nearly. That's one. That goes on really nice with a finger, that. That's just with one coat. I don't know if you, how well you can see it because it's shining so well. There we go, the second one. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love that. That has really coated very, very well, that. Okay, so the next one is Coco Sheen. Go Coco Sheen. Coco Sheen. And after that one is Mocha Shimmer. There we go. That's Mocha Shimmer. Just a little bit darker than the one I've just done. Very similar. But they'll go really, really well together for a nice eye look. And then the last one on that row is another glitter. And that is the Glitz Glam Glitter. And it's the silver glitter. That's with one. Wow, <laughs> I've actually used this glitter on, on the uh, inner parts of my eyes because I love silver and that is beautiful. Okay, so that's the top row done. And the next one is on the middle row. This is another glitter. This is the berry glitter. Uh, this is the last of the, what I'd say, uh, true glitters. The, there we go. Okay, so I'll we'll start here. Oh, that is pretty. That is that, um, it's like a rose gold glitter or a salmon pink glitter even. That's just with one. So, as you know, I'm doing it twice. Don't really need to do it twice, to be honest, on that one. And the one after that, I'll just get my brush now, is called the Rose Nude. There we go. That's a very delicate colour, that one. Very delicate. That's pretty, though. Very, very pretty. Now, I'll show it very well. And this is the pressed glitter. Um, the which one is it? Uh, just bear with me. So we've just had the rose plumbed shimmer glitter. So I'm trying it with the brush, and I don't really like it with the brush. So I'm going to do what I did with my glitters. I'm going to just use my think that's better because I haven't used these before in this palette. So, like I say, I'm still learning, and that's why I'm doing these videos to learn. There we go. That shows up really nice. Just clean my brush. And the one after that is blushing. Another really nice nudish colour. Very similar to the one above it there. And then after that one is another shimmery glitter. It is that midnight one, that black one. There we go, so. Sorry, I didn't put much on there. Oops, now I've got too much. There we go. <laughs> that is really nice black, that. Let's try and get that right to the end there. There we go. And 
end. So we are now on to the last row. So this is more the bluey tones. So the first one is that Mermaid Divine. I've actually used this on my eyes today and I love her. Really, really pretty. I you can hear my dog's playing in the background. <laughs> Makes a change from my cat meowing. There we go. So that's Mermaid Divine. So this is another pressed pressed shimmer glitter. Um, turquoise Dream this one is. Just bear with me. They, they feel very, how can I put this, jelly-like when you're touching them. Not that you don't really feel like you're touching a glitter, it just feels like jelly. It goes on really, really nice. And the next one after that is the first of the mattes. It's really lovely chocolate brown. And this one's called Cafe Noir. Oh, that is beautiful. That's just with one. <laughs> the mattes are amazing. I didn't need to do another one, but I've just done it just for effect. And this is the Marine Shimmer. That, oh, that's pretty. That is what I use for like the inner corners and inner part, you know, the inner part of the eyelid. I've used it on there. So I mainly use that one and that one on my eyes today. And then for the um, outer corners, I use this, what I'm going to use now, the deep blue, uh, that navy matte. I love this colour. I'm hoping it shows up as well as it does actually look like in real life because it is a dark, dark navy. And again, that mat, the mats, you, you don't need two lots on, but I'm going to just because that is what I've done with all of them. So I want to give, you know, every single one the exact same chance. Okay, so let's peel back the swatch. Wow. Oh, this is my favourite bit. I love doing this. Absolutely love it. Ooh, wow. Look at those. Oh, they are amazing. Absolutely amazing. That one did show up really well. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. Again, if, if this doesn't tempt you to buy them, even if you just buy one palette, this is the one I'd probably recommend. Like I say, it's got a good mixture. Perhaps this one and the pink tone palette. There you go. That that would be my, my choice. That there. Oh, can't wait to do a look with that one. That looks so pretty. That was um, that rose gold. Yeah, that berry glitter. It's like a rose gold glitter. Oh. I'm obsessed. Oh, I, I, they are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's another palette done. I'll just move my table back. <laughs> Get everything back how it was. There we go. Okay, so I'm in love with that. They are beautiful. I'm, every time I do a swatch, I feel like a little girl. <laughs> It's like, oh, what's this going to come out like? And then I'm just so pleased. Even my dogs are pleased. You could hear them in the background. That is beautiful. I, I've only actually used this palette once and I've just used it today just to do this look for you guys. And I'll definitely, definitely be using it again in the future. I absolutely love it. So that is the Smoky Glam uh, palette from the palette collection from Girl Meets Brush. Please check them out. Um, it, just type in Girl Meets Brush Academy and you'll find it on the, find their website. They also do online courses, of which um, I've also become a subscriber. And through that, I've got an affiliate code. So I will be giving you a money off voucher code uh, in, in the comments box down below. So you can get some, some serious money off of these beautiful palettes. Um, just to help you guys out. 
Um, so yeah, I highly recommend them. I'm not just saying that because I belong to their academy. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't have done a video otherwise. Uh, I'm saying that because they are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous and I highly recommend them. Okay, so that's the end of my video. So next time I will be doing the last of the range, which is the neutral palette. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So, and then after that, I'm going to just do a quick review of the brushes, what you get. Um, so that'll be the last of the entire collection of Girl Meets Brush. And then I'll perhaps do something different, different after then. I might review some highlighters from different companies. I might just mix it up a bit, because otherwise it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Doing same old, same old every week, okay? Um, and just in case, if you're interested, um, as you know, I do like unusual lipsticks. Yeah, uh, and for this look today, uh, I just thought I'd quickly tell you just, just what I'm using. Uh, it's Kat Von D. Um, I do like her range because they do do what they say on the product, that they are long lasting. And nowadays, obviously, with wearing a face mask, you need to have something that won't rub off all over your face. And I do find Kat Von D's everlasting uh, lipsticks, you know, the, uh, the liquid ones, they are absolutely out of this world for that. Trust me, they work. Her lipsticks, not so much, but they do last, or you know, for like ordinary everyday wear, they do last a lot longer than normal lipsticks. So for the look that I use today, um, I, I'm using Lemmy. That's my dog's play. My dogs are called Jack and George, and it's an English Bull Terrier and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So I do apologise for the ruckus in the background. They're having a whale of a time. So yeah, so Lemmy is the green eye, uh, eyeliner, I nearly said, uh, lip liner. And then I've used Plan B, Kat Von D studded lipsticks. It's only the second time I've used it, and I just love the colour. I like, yeah, it just, just goes. Plus, I like to be that a little bit different, you know. Well, I, it's just me. I've always liked to be just a little bit different because life gets boring otherwise. <laughs> okay, so that's that's it from me. Again, thank you so much for watching and supporting me on my makeup journey. Um, if you want to leave me any comments, please do. And um, Also, if you want to see anything in the future or... Uh, like say any hints and tips or advice um that would be great too i'm open to, to all <laughs> i'm open to anything okay so thank you again from i really do mean it thank you so much and yeah i'll see you guys next week okay stay safe bye